worst case scenario, actually, because I've seen this at 44. So I guess that was just a slight anomaly. But as you can see, perfectly playable frame rates. And this is running in dual graphics mode with the A8 3870K at stock frequency, along with my Radeon HD 6450. Now, if I disengage, uh, disable, rather, uh, dual graphics mode, this will drop till about 29 average and 26, 23 uh, minimum with just the APU alone. Now that's still perfectly playable. And this is on all high presets. Let me go ahead and show you here. Sure. All right, here we go. Everything is on high at the bottom. Oop, we have eight times anti-aliasing. Oh my gosh, hold on. Come on, come on, here we go. So, yeah, this is not a 1080p uh, HDTV, it's kind of old, but uh, so at 1360 by 768. Uh, if you want to check out a benchmark with the higher card, video card, that you can run in unison with the A8 APU, be sure to check out uh, Linus Tech Tips. Been around for a while, it's a much older video, but he does test it with the 6670 and the A8 3850, which is essentially the same as the one I have here, just it's locked and the uh, clock speed is at 2.9 versus 3.0. So check that out, he does run it at 1080p on all high settings and he gets about you know 50 to 60 FPS. And so here, being that I'm running the 6450 only, you know, the lowest car that you can run with the APU together, I'm getting, uh, as you saw, 41. Earlier it was 44, but you know, a couple FPS isn't that isn't going to be that noticeable. Eight times any aliasing. Refresh rate is at 60. Uh, that's 60 hertz. I had the V-Sync off originally, but I did put it on, so it locks it at the refresh rate of the screen, so that way you don't get any tearing as you're moving around. It's loading, you know, different areas of the game because uh, that can be annoying, and that turn and that certainly smoothed it all out. So, yep, all high settings, blah, blah, blah. And as I said, with the APU alone, 29 frames per second, and it's, uh, it's significantly lower than the 41 you saw, but it's still perfectly playable, so keep that in mind. Uh, let's see, let's see what I got next.
didn't have fraps on. That was my mistake. Oops, you know, with the uh, frame rates out of the top corner over here. But let me go ahead and show you my details. Same resolution as the other game, of course. That's the max for this TV. Full screen. V-Sync is on. Uh, boom. Mostly medium settings, but texture quality is on high, so this is automatically setting it this way. Four times, uh, any, any isotropic filtering. Um, yep, that is pretty much it. As you can see, it moves. It's pretty much like butter. And here's another thing. This is where the APU is the only thing working. The 6450 uh, in dual graphics mode, or should I say dual graphics mode period, does not want to agree with Battlefield 3. Could be a driver issue, most likely it is. I'd have to see if there's a patch anywhere for that, or you know, check the AMD website, because I haven't, uh, personally, I haven't heard if anyone's had any issues with Battlefield 3 uh, when it comes to using dual graphics mode. But uh, even just with the APU, you can obviously tell with these kind of settings, uh, V-Sync on, that much filtering going on, it's absolutely playable. And I'm playing this on a really horrible wireless keyboard here, which is horrible because to use the uh, scope, you, you know, it's, it's, it's ridiculous, whatever. So don't go by my style of playing about, you know, how good this, uh, how good the playability is going to be. So yeah, there you go. Uh, even just the APU all by itself, the AA3870K, there's your performance right in front of your eyes in real time. And then uh, same thing for the for Dirt 3. You can use the A8 all by itself, or you can uh, enable dual graphics mode and get that extra boost about 10, 15 more frames per second. So about, I'll say about a 5 to 10 percent, I'll say about a 10 percent, 10, 15 percent increase in uh, performance. So uh, if you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to ask and uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, pray to God I've covered everything I meant to. And uh, all rights go to Battlefield 3, Electronic Arts, and Dirt 3 Codemasters. So thank you very much for watching.